Hi everybody, today in front of me I have Black Shark 5 Pro smartphone and in this video we would like to show the best display settings to change on this device. So first of all let's go ahead and open up the settings and enter the display category. So the first option that we would highly recommend that you try changing plane width and uh, well configuring it uh, up to your liking is called the reading mode. So in here, as you can see, once turned on, it makes the color of your interface significantly warmer by reducing the blue light amount. And therefore, it also reduces the eye fatigue and makes make your eyes less tired from using the display of your smartphone. Here we have the classic mode of this reading feature and the paper mode. So choose whatever mode fits you best. There are also slight configurations for each of those modes that you can access by tapping on this arrow at the right. And this page, as you can see, allows you to regulate the color temperature for both modes. And as it comes for the paper, it also has this bar that lets you regulate the texture as well. And in here, you can once at the paper mode or reading mode, you can expand the values for the colors option and either go for the full colors, light colors, or even black and white. Just like so. And the last option that this uh, feature option, reading mode in general, provides you with is to set up the custom time period for this feature to be automatically activated and deactivated respectively. The second option that we were to show you in this video is called Color Scheme. And as you could already guess, it provides you with an opportunity to change the color scheme of your device. So there is the saturated color mode or color colors preset, the natural and standard. There is also this little palette that allows you to regulate the color temperature and uh, well, what colors in the interface will prevail and have the dominant role basically as well as <coughs> provides you with this presets for color temperature, so default, warm or cool. And very conveniently you have the preview picture that you can look at and uh, very visually see how the changes or what the changes that you have, uh, well, opt for, opted for, will look like exactly. The next option is called refresh shade and as you could already guess it provides you with an opportunity to switch between various values as for the display refresh rate or screen refresh rate. So you can either go uh, for or should I say set the value of 60 Hz, 90 Hz, 144 Hz. There is also the automatic value which will, uh, well automatically <laughs> obviously switch between this three uh, screen refresh rates in accordance with current system state, in accordance with current uh, battery health and etc. So basically the higher value you choose, the more silky smooth animations and interface uh, experience you'll get, but at the same time the power consumption increases significantly. Therefore if you would like to save yourself some battery just go for lower values. If the battery is sufficient, you can go ahead and crank the screen refresh rate up to the maximum, which I'll do myself. Or, you know what, I'll opt for the medium value, just for have the middle ground between the power consumption and the interface smoothness. Alrighty, and the fourth option that we would like to show you in this video is actually located at the always on display and lock screen category of settings. So let's go ahead and open it. In here, we'll go for the always on display page. So this cool option, always on display once activated, it makes it so that even once your lock screen, or should I say your screen is locked, it still shows something. Some brief information like time, date, day of the week, current battery, health, and etc. So there is the section that allows you to configure the display items or well should I say the display mode right now it is set as for the four seconds after tapping so as you can see if we tap it will show for exactly 10 seconds there is the always option which will uh, permanently and at all times show the AOD 
or even the schedule that you can set up for it to be displayed between certain time frames. And the small toggle as well, which makes it so that the AOD gets turned off once the battery saver is active. Me, I'll go with always uh, display mode. Next, there are themes that you can choose from. Is There is this little theme constructor that allows you to well, download some custom image for it to be displayed at the AOD and what's not, and uh, some standard uh, pre-saved themes. So analog clock, kaleidoscope, digital clock, or some custom images backgrounds. Let's say I'll go with this design. In here you can choose the text colors, the clock layout, the change color automatically toggle can be also activated. So it will be changed over time. And the display items, so you can choose whether you want for the current battery uh, state, the power state to be displayed, as well as for the notifications, which I'll turn off myself. Simply tap on apply, and once we lock our screen, we'll be able to see the AOD that we have, uh, well, <laughs> customized and personalized. And applied, obviously. Alrighty, so that would be not only for the always on display feature, but for this video in general. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.